Hi, this is Keneally, and we are going to do a modified Atwood machine experiment. I have got this Pasco Dynamics track, which I found the mass to be 497.8 grams, attached to a friction block with the felt side down. The block has a mass of 128 grams. I put the post note back there so that we can always start from the same spot. And over on this end, I've got a pulley with a mass hanger. It's 50 grams. And you see right now it's holding it in place. If I put 100 grams on here, it is still holding it in place. So you can actually figure out the level of friction right there. But that may not be the maximum friction. What we're going to do is we're going to add masses to this until we get the cart moving at a constant acceleration. We're going to time how long it takes for it to fall all the way to the floor. That distance is about 80 centimeters. And we're going to time three runs and see if we can figure out the acceleration of our system. We're going to figure out the friction from the track and the felt pad the friction between them and then we're going to figure out mu for the track felt combination all right so let me fit set up a couple more things and i'll be right back okay so i've got the track set up and i've leveled the string so it's pretty much horizontal i've got a total of 150 grams here now I'm going to add another 100 grams, and that should make this start moving. And so what we're going to do, we're going to run this three times, and you need to measure the time it takes for the mass to drop to the ground. That's 80 centimeters. From that, you should be able to figure out the acceleration of the system. Knowing the mass of this and the block cart system over there, you should be able to figure out the force on the system. And after that, knowing the weight of this and that force on the system, you should be able to figure out the frictional force. And then knowing the mass of the block and cart and the frictional force, you should be able to figure out the coefficient of friction between the surface of the track and the felt side of that friction block. All right, so we're going to drop this three times. So now... We've got a total of 250 grams here. I'm going to go one, two, three, release, and I'm going to let go at release. Ready? One, two, three, release. Hit. All right. We're going to reset and do that again a couple more times. The next few times, I'm going to actually release from here. At this spot, it should still be 80 centimeters above the ground. And I'm going to stop this from swinging here for a little bit. The string looks good. Ready? One, two, three, release. Yep. One more time. One last time. Ready? One, two, three, release. Hit. All right. Now that you got your data, go ahead and do your calculations and figure out the coefficient of friction between the felt block and the track. Thank you. Tune in again for some more physics. Goodbye.